All right, all right. So welcome back to Studio 39, a.k.a. The Bear Cave, man. I'm Rob Odie, man. This is another episode of Spotlight 39. We got another good one. We got a special one. My man's committed to you, Maine. We'll get into all that. Anywho, before we do, please hit that subscribe button. Please continue to share on all your social media. Continue to help us grow this thing, man. We're doing real big things, and I can't do it without you, your help. So I appreciate it thus far. Continue to do what you do. Uh, now that that's out of the way, man, let's have some good conversation. Tell us who you are, where you're from, what you do, all that fun stuff, and we'll have some good conversation. The floor is yours. All right, what's up, y'all? Uh, my name is Kazair Brown. I play for Trent Central High School. I live in Upper New Jersey. And uh, I'm an athlete. I'm not really, I don't really classify myself as my size of ball. You know, I can do everything on the field. It doesn't matter what it is. Good deal, man. Good deal. Class of 21, I assume, right? Yes, sir. Good deal. Good deal, man. So uh, you were fortunate enough to have a season this year, right? Yes, sir. Cool, man. And um, did you, uh, were you on varsity throughout your high school career? Or did you start JV and then move your way up? How'd that work for you? Uh, my freshman year, you know, I played freshman. Unfortunately, I broke my left arm. Uh-oh. And, uh, I could have finished the season up on JV, probably varsity for a few games, but, you know, got cut short. Sophomore year, I played varsity. Junior year, I played varsity. And my senior year, I played varsity. Okay. So, so predominantly varsity year throughout your career, right? It's yes, a sir. good deal, man. And um, so you, you were fortunate enough to have a season this year. So walk me through a little bit about how your individual uh, season went. Uh, individual season, um, it went great. Um, I could have did a little better, but you know, circumstances and oh, yeah, you know, crazy times. Yeah, definitely. We got shut down twice. Oh, wow. So, did, you know. did, did the games get rescheduled or just you know, nah, canceled as a whole? We, we missed two games, those yeah. are two big games, so you know, gotcha. Cool, man. So, on uh, you play on both sides of the ball, yes, sir. Cool, man. On uh, what do you or what position do you predominantly play when you're on offense? Uh, offense, I was normally a running back, but I was just a receiver because of my size. Good course, deal. You run and catch the ball, so I was just a receiver and slot back. Okay. And uh, how's your 40 time? When was the last time you had a clock 40? Four or five. Four or five. Okay. Okay. So you got some you got some speed behind you as well, right? Yes, sir. Good deal, man. I like it. I like it. So um, so going into the season, right? You obviously said you could uh, you know, you could have done some things a little differently. Uh, so let's talk about that, right? So let's talk about what your focus point is going to be uh, coming out of your senior season, going into to the next level, uh, playing some D1 ball. Uh, definitely in my explosiveness. I've been lifting a lot, you know, working out a lot almost every day just to get more explosive and just working on my technique on every side of the ball just in case I have to switch on sides or play both. I can be ready for both. I just want to be more explosive. That way I can make plays and provide for the team. Good deal, man. Good deal. So, um, so, so working on the explosiveness, right? So do you have a, you know, a plan in place on, on what you're going to do specifically to, to really, you know, hone in on that and, and, and make um, that your focal point? Um, yeah, with lifting, I don't really lift too heavy, only on like max out days, but I really do power cleans, hand cleans, press, like things to like make sure I got quick hips, you know, okay. quick muscles and all that stuff like that. Good deal, man. Good deal. So, uh, so, Let's uh let's kind of transition, right? So you got a lot of talent on the field, right? You're pretty versatile, um, being an athlete. But how's your uh, how's your grades looking, man? What's what's the talent look like in the classroom? Grades are great, three point one GPA. You know, Fantastic. It's going up after this year. Good deal. Uh, how's your test scores looking? Test scores are good on my SAT. I got a thousand. Okay, so we're, everything everything's in line where you need to be, right? Yes, so now sir. we can move in. Now we can move into the recruitment process, right? Yes, so my man's committed to where? You may, you black may bear. black bear, right? Black bear nation. Yes, I sir. love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um, cool, man. So let's, let's talk about uh, how that, that, that came to, to happen for you. Um, not necessarily just you may, but you know, at what point did you start, you know, getting reached out to by coaches and, and you know, what types of conversations did you have? And then ultimately what led you to, to choose you main? Okay. So uh, my freshman year, you know, I played freshman, you know, coaches didn't reach out to me because I didn't really have Twitter. I wasn't really on it. I had sure. it, but I wasn't on it. So I didn't really post film. My sophomore year, um, I was on it a little bit. You know, I posted clips on Huddle here and there. But um, the summer going into my junior year, I was at Rutgers camp, and um, it was a lot of coaches. It was a lot of coaches there, Buffalo, Kent State, you know, all those big schools. Sure. And uh, the rec um you main coach talked to me and coach uh gear and coach mckenna okay 
and I was playing receiver there, you know, I always want to be a receiver. You know, go out, catch the ball, score touchdowns. That's what I love to do. And uh, he came to me. He was like, here's my car. I have it right here. This is the first car I ever got from you, man. Okay. But I texted him, but, you know, at the time, I wasn't really that guy yet. So, oh, you know, sure. I, and then, you know, he responded to me a little bit. And he said, you know, I need to see some film or whatnot. And you know, that's the first ever time I ever met a humane coach. And I didn't really hear about humane until then. I didn't really search I'll be straightforward, man. I didn't even know humane had a had a football program, let alone a D1 football program, right? Yeah, I didn't <laughs> know. You know, I had searched it up a little bit, checked it out, say, you know, it's not probably not a bad place, you know. I left it there. You know, I always keep all my cars any coach gives to me because it's sure. to talk to them. Oh, yeah. I mean, anytime you can network, man, that's a that's a learning experience, right? Yeah, definitely. And then in my junior year, at the end, you know, you may text me. And it was like, yeah, you know, we're interested in you. We've seen your film. We love it. And I said, you know, at that point, I was happy. And then recruitment started picking up a little more. He started talking to more coaches, D2, D1, D3. Sure. And after that, going into, like, Coach K. Eddie, you know, he hit me up. He was like, you know, I want you to come play for us and this, this and that. And then, you know, they placed fortunately. They fortunately gave me an offer to UMaine. So, so UMaine was your first official? Yes, sir. And then Full ride or PWL? Full ride. Okay. And then LIU hit me the next day. And, you know, <laughs> we jumped on the phone and they offered me that day. So, at this point right now, I'm thinking, well, tomorrow I might get an offer as well. But, you know, <laughs> things start slowly getting slow. Sure, sure. And then, you know, hit my senior year. And, uh, you know, we've been talking for a while. And, you know, I was like, well, you mean LIU? I have two choices right now. I was going to pick LIU at first, you know, because closer to home and, sure. you know, if anything happens, I could just rush back. And and when you when you refer to LIU, just uh, just for the audience, what what, what program is LIU? Uh, LIU is Long Island up in New York. Yep. Um, yeah, D1 program. Cool. Um, and, you know, I was like, well, I live in a city, you know, I've been, always been living in a city. I was like, maybe I should try something new, you know, just pros and cons to where I want to go and. I was like, you know what? I want to try something new. I'm a city. I'm like, I've been in the city a lot. You know, you know, a lot of things happen in the city. I don't like a lot of things happen in the city. I like, oh, yeah. but I say, you know, I just want to switch up my environment, go somewhere different, you know, experience new things, meet new people, and just make new relationships and connections. Good deal, man. Did you, uh, did you have, have you had a chance to get out there on a visit yet? Uh, not yet. I have family out there. So. You know. Oh, you got family in Maine? Yes, sir. Good for you. Good for you, man. It's uh, it's definitely a different world out there. But I'll tell you what, man, it's uh, you know, it's it's it feels like my second home now. You know, I've been out there a handful of times and obviously, you know, I see them on the road quite a bit, man. I travel. So, you know, you'll you'll see me. You'll, you'll most you most definitely get to see me. I, yeah. I make uh, quite a few road trips, man, between you, Maine or, you know, hell, I went down. They were playing Elon outside of Charlotte. Right. Which, Drove down to Charlotte. Well, drove down to North Carolina, man. Liberty. I've I've made quite a few trips, um, but man, it's a special program. It's a special place. Uh, very different than the city, right? You know. Yeah. So if you want something different, you know, something outside the box, that's most certainly uh, going to be what you get. You know, and and that's a big reason why I think uh, you know Darius fell in love with it, man. He said it felt like home. You know, because we, you know, where we live, we live in a, a small little rural area in Virginia, and uh, you know that's that's about what you're going to get up there, man. You know, you're not going to get big shopping malls and you know, in, in freeways that are, you know, six hour pack full of traffic, right? You don't get none of that. It's just a, you know, a, a nice quaint, you know, town that that's, uh, you know, all about what's going on. Right. So it, it'll be nice once you're able to get up there and, and really get to, to experience that. And, you know, the brotherhood there is, is second to none, you know, and obviously, you know, I'm slightly biased as we can tell. Right. Um, but, you know, I think, I think you'll have a good time, my man. So, uh, so when did you uh, when did you officially decide you you Maine was was where you're gonna call home for the next four years, or you know um, four plus years? I was uh, at a workout and I was like, you know what, uh, you know times running slim because you know they you may only offers a certain number of spots. So for me to be one of those, you know, I was lucky. And they sure. say you know, we're gonna wait for a while and you know, and uh, we're gonna keep recruiting though, even though because you didn't commit. So we're gonna keep recruiting just in case you know. We get someone that does come in. I was thinking about them like, I have two choices right now, and you know, one's in the city, one's not, and I want to try something new. So I say, you know what? After this workout, I'm gonna call Coach K. Eddie, and I'm gonna tell him I'm committed. So you know, I Facetimed them, 
<laughs> and uh, he was like, what's up, Bug? He's like, what's up? What's going on? And I was like, I got to tell you something. He was like, what is it, man? He was like, you know what? I'm ready to be a black bear officially. And he said, he, oh, said, okay. hey. he said, hey, you playing with me, man? I said, nah, <laughs> I'm not playing with you. And, you know, and, to, and at that point, I felt I felt happy and I felt like I was actually going home, you know, to something new. And they, you know, they really welcomed me into the program. All the coaches, you know, they send me letters all the time and of encouragement, you know, just making sure I'm healthy, my family. That's the number one thing, you know. Make if they're uh coming out and reaching out to me and asking about my family, that's just the number one thing. You know, I just feel like that's the, the setter right there. If you're asking about my family and not just me as an athlete, then then you you I think you I think I should be where you guys are. No, man, I like that. I like that. That uh, that definitely speaks volume for the program, right? You know, obviously, you know, I could, I could speak for a little while about you know what I know. Um, I've got a a pretty good relationship up there, but uh, you know, you took the words pretty much straight out of my mouth, man. Like, you know, they they care, right? You know, it's not just about the football program or you know the athlete, man. They care about you as a person, and uh, you know, I think that's a good transition to the next segment, right? Who are you as a person, and, and what are you know what do you involved with what do you enjoy doing outside of the game of football man um uh, me you know i'm a funny guy you know if I, people that wear my heart on my sleeve and you know i do a little bit sometimes depending on what it is and you know i'm an emotional person so like on the field whatever i do if i'm i'm 110 percent i'm i'm a you know show my emotions a lot doesn't matter on the field we trash talking i'm a trash talk times 10. <laughs> there you, know, you go just me um, I'm the guy that's going to go all out. You know, I do everything for a purpose, not just to do it because it's fun. Even though football is fun, I do it for a reason. It's not just I do it because it's fun. And, you know, I'm a problem solver. You know, I like to solve problems. You know, I just like to be the solution. Don't like to cause havoc. I'm a chill guy, you know. But I like to laugh and have fun. So, you know, playing football, you know, you have that brotherhood where you could be yourself and just being myself would just make me happy. So when I feel like I can be myself around coaches, I definitely can be myself around players. Oh, yeah. That's why... I, I mean, was one of the places I, I chose because I can be myself with Coach K, Eddie, Coach Gary, all the coaches up in the coaches. So I can be myself. So when I can be myself around older people, I know people my age or, you know, a little bit older than me, I can, you know, be have fun around. Yeah, I think you're going to mesh real well up there, man. I think, uh, I think you're going to have a good time. Definitely. Special place, man. So, look, uh, first of all, man, I appreciate you taking the time. Uh, you know, I'm going to close it out with the same question I do every single time. And that's uh, that's what motivates and what drives you to want to wake up tomorrow and be that much more successful than you were today. Uh, definitely, uh, my sister, my, my sister and my niece. You know, those are two girls that you know I hold near and dear to my heart. I write them all on my cleats. I have a pen right now. Let me see. Uh, you know, I like to be different, so I mismatch a little bit. You know, I have. Okay. You know, I, got, I got this cleat because you know me, and I have yeah, this yeah. cleat for me. But you know, I write all the things on here, you know, family, you know, my niece and my sister. I like it. I hold near and dear to my heart. So, you know, I go out there and play for them. That's why I always wear these, you know. Uh, I don't wear no other pair of cleats if it doesn't have my sister and my niece written, name written on it. So, you know. I man, that's big. I like that, man. So, you know, you take the whole whole other meaning to, you know, you, you, you wear your heart on your sleeve, right? In your Definitely. situation, man, you wear it on your cleats. I like it. Definitely. My man, uh, you know, I'll throw out the cleat game, man. My, my man, Ernest Edwards. I'm sure you know who he is, man. He uh he rocked the the custom Darius minor cleats, you know, his yeah. senior year, man. They were something special, something special. I like it. Um, but cool, man. Look, so I appreciate your time. Uh, for all the viewers out there, man, I really, really appreciate everything that you're doing thus far, man. Helping us grow this uh this channel. Please continue to do so. Blast it all on your social media, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, whatever you've got. I don't even know what's out there, you know, these days. But whatever it is, man, post it on there so we can continue to grow this platform. I really do appreciate it. And for you, my man, I, I wish you nothing but the best. I can't wait to meet you in person. Uh, you know, fingers crossed when the season kicks off, I'm going to be at UD, you know, watching that first and foremost, you know, I'm, I'm excited, man. That's my happy place. So until then, man, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll chat with you, all right? Yeah, no problem, man.